Welcome to the OSLINK for UPS batch processing demonstration. Within OSLINK to perform a batch process, I'm going to use Microsoft Excel for my information. So here, I open a simple Excel spreadsheet. I don't need to import information into OSLINK or export information into OSLINK. I simply install OSLINK on my computer and open my Excel spreadsheet. And then here, on this add-ins menu, I'll see the buttons that OSLINK installs directly in Excel. So let's say within this spreadsheet I was looking to do a batch rating process. I'm going to create a new style called rating. And now I simply need to map my style. What that means is I'm going to tell OSLINK what am I trying to do and where is the information stored inside my Excel spreadsheet. So here I've indicated that I'm going to rate packages with UPS and I want to do it as part of a batch process. Now I need to tell it what information am I going to send to UPS to perform the rating. The minimum fields for rating a package are going to be the city, state, zip code, and the service type. So now, once I've added those to my map, I simply use these simple drop-down menus to tell OSLINK where is that information within my spreadsheet. And once I complete this, I'm going to also update my setup to tell the system where where do I want to update the results of my batch rating type process? So now, on the Data from UPS tab, I'm going to select Add. And again, I'm going to select the fields that I want updated into my spreadsheet. So I'm going to return into my spreadsheet the UPS published shipping cost, my UPS negotiated shipping cost, or my account-based rates, as they're oftentimes referred to, uh, the number of days in transit. So assuming that I ship this package today, um, how many days would it take for it to be delivered? I'm also able to get the date for that delivery, the guaranteed delivery time, the day of the week, and also, just in case I've made a mistake in mapping any of my columns, I can capture any error messages. So now, I can highlight any row in my spreadsheet and click Send to UPS, and OSLINK will go through and it will batch process each transaction in my spreadsheet until it reaches a blank row. And that could be eight or nine transactions like I have here, could be 800 or 8,000. There's really no limit to the number of transactions that can be batch processed. But if we scroll over to the right, we can see the results of my batch process. I'll see the UPS published cost, my negotiated cost, days in transit, delivery date, delivery day of the week, and delivery time. The other batch processes available within OSLINK all work the same way. So if I want to set up a batch address validation, I can do that. Batch shipping with UPS WorldShip or batch tracking are all available with OSLINK. For more information, please visit us at OzDevelopment.com.